Dr. Badijo here. Today we're going to learn how to create an orthomosaic of the imagery that is wrapped around objects such as a ceramic vessel. So looking here on this website in the Metropolitan Museum, uh, we can see a Mayan ceramic vessel and there's all of this imagery wrapped around the exterior with a visual narrative. And what they're capable of doing is actually unwrapping that or unrolling it so that you can see the rollout. So the, all of the imagery is there in a 2D fashion, essentially. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to Agisoft Metashape, and I'll use an Incan style vessel that I typically use for tutorials. And I want to first acquaint you with the bounding box or region. Right? People use those interchangeably, but it's this part right over here that contains your 3D model that you're working on. That's going to be the primary tool to designate the axis and the origin of our rollout. So the bottom of this bounding box, or the region, is this red X here. And then the front of it is the side that does not have this little marking. Right? So if I want to create a rollout where this is the center of the rollout, this would be correct. Notice that the little tick mark is back in the back and my image that I want to be the front is facing me. Right? But I actually want this to be the center of my, my image. So I'm going to go ahead and make some changes. I'm going to go to this little button up here, which is where I can move the region, resize the region, and even rotate it. Um, oftentimes, if, if you're not referenced in any way, the bottom might be flipped over or off to the side, and you're going to have to actually rotate your region a bit to make those changes so that the, the actual red X is at the bottom of your vessel. Right? Um, I need to spin mine around, so I'm going to use the, the blue axis here and actually just completely turn it so that the little tick mark is right at the back. Right? And might even do a little resizing just because I'm here now. Kind of pull that in. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit Workflow build orthomosaic, cylindrical, and I can use the current region. Right? So I'm just going to leave that as is and hit OK. And this will take a little while to process, but once it's finished we'll click up here where it says ortho and take a look at our results. Alright, so mine is finished now. I'm going to go ahead and click there. And as you can see, it's all been flattened out and turned into kind of a long rectangle. Right. And so this is a cylindrical object that's being projected in 2D. So it won't, it will have distortion, but you will be able to see everything together, which is kind of nice in, in some ways. Um, I probably would choose a different place for that seam. So for instance, I may actually choose a place that doesn't have imagery, like right in here next time I do this. But I would invite you to just play around with it. You know, go in here and mess around with rotating the region, uh, putting that seam in a different location in order to rerun your ortho mosaic to get the results that you want. So that's all I have for you today and thank you for watching.